white man in boxing. Where the flare cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Woo! Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfellas1Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfellas since you get 18% off. We out. All right, somebody sent me an interview that Mikey Garcia done with the Fight Hype. So you can check it out, fighthype.com. He was basically saying Crawford hasn't been fighting nobody lately, but he was talking about Jose Ramirez, right? Said that basically Jose Ramirez is better than Jeff Horn, Kavalovsky, uh, Benavidez, and Amir Khan. So let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And at the end of the day, it'd be funny how other how your contemporaries or your peers be talking about how you haven't fought this guy, that guy, but they're not signing up to fight you. And he basically said that you know Jose Ramirez is bigger and stronger than Crawford, or he will be bigger and stronger than Crawford at 47. So him and old girl that do the interviews with most of the Mexican fighters and stuff of that nature, she was uh she was uh basically asking Mikey about Jose, and they kind of went through the steps, and basically he said that uh. You know, Jose Ramirez, the, you know, basically they working on getting past Postal, which ain't a sure thing, but I think they will get past Postal at this point. Then they kind of talked about, you know, um, you know, him moving, you know, moving up. But then they said, you know, I, you know, he's, I think he don't want to be undisputed versus Josh Taylor. And then he said basically that he think the brawler is going out, you know, the pressure fighter. He called him a brawler. But he think he, uh, the pressure is going to overcome Josh Taylor's skills. One. Anybody that know boxing, but you gotta before I go to this, you gotta understand, dude. Mexicans are biased. Like guys like Mikey gonna be biased to the guys going into the gym, and why wouldn't he be? Why would he go out there and say, "Well, I'm not sure if he gonna beat Josh Taylor." So you kind of gotta say that. He kind of gotta say that because they all one team in one gym, right? He can't be objective, you know, in talking about one of Robert's fighters and saying that oh, I don't think he gonna win. If he went in there and fought Godzilla. He was going to pick Jose Ramirez to beat Godzilla, even though he know the results are inevitable that he's going to lose. So let me say that first, right? But we, I mean, anybody that know boxing know that Josh Taylor is the better fighter. He got the better resume. Okay, Jose Jose ben Ramirez ain't fought nobody. He beat Amir Mon. You want a cookie for that? For your first title fight? He just lost to Oscar Molina. Okay, uh, he beat Zapata, you know, or Antonio or Zalco or whatever. You know, he beat Zapata, but a lot of people thought Zapata won that fight, and he got robbed. He beat Maurice Hooker. I don't think anybody think Maurice Hooker going to light the world on fire or he a top prospect or whatever the situation may be. You know what I'm saying? That makes him want to be a baby. <laughs> I don't think nobody think, you know, like, think think Maurice Hooker going to light the world on fire. But, I, you know, at the end of the day, he said that he think the, uh, he thinks that the, the pressure fighter going to outbox the uh, – or how you know pressure the boxer in this situation. And usually you go with the the boxer, but in a lot of a lot of times the pressure fighter is able to beat the boxer. I mean, or sometimes you know sometimes if you bring some good pressure, that's one thing that bothers a boxer puncher. You know what I'm saying? Is that pressure? You've seen it with Lamada in one of the fights with, with Ray Robinson. You've seen it with uh who else you see it with? Madonna gave uh, Floyd Mayweather some issues or, or whatever the situation may be. So you know. You know, Duran kind of out pressure Sugar Ray uh, Leonard. He moved up. So he is right. In some situations, the pressure fighter can, you know, basically make it an issue for the boxer. You know what I'm saying? Because the boxer usually needs distance. He like to move, be slick, hit and don't get hit. Um, but in this situation, Ramirez has showed me nothing in his career that worries me about him beating Josh Taylor. You know, unless Josh Taylor just have a, a real, real bad off night and, you know, he just... You know, off that night, he got to be hella off. So for them to talk about, excuse me, playing around. For them, for him to talk about, you know, just talking about Crawford, that's premature. You know, this is the same Jose Ramirez that didn't want to fight Regis Prograves. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it real. And, and, and why would you want to fight the guy who I felt that beat Regis 8-4? to four? You know, that fight wasn't close to people make it seem. And the only reason it was closed down the stretch is because, you know, uh, Josh Taylor, I got closed up from a headbutt. You know, so at the end of the day, that you know, it is what it is, okay? Um, I think Josh Taylor should stop Jose Ramirez. I think Jose, he got some, I think he got some heart. He's a strong guy. Um, but maybe he might make it the distance. Is he going to get pl – he should He should get plummeted. He ain't nowhere near on Josh Taylor level. You know, but people going to – Mexicans going to say he is, and then when they lose, he lose, then they going to make excuses. But if he win, he win. It, it wouldn't surprise me. 
it wouldn't surprise me if he win. You know what I'm saying? Because he got some of the best stamina at 40. He a strong 140 pounder, and I do respect him coming out the amateurs. He was 132, and he made the move to 140. Well, most guys would have tried to make the move to 35 or 130 pounds. So I do respect him from that aspect, but I don't respect him um, as a bo as a boxing man. I don't respect him like that because he ducked Regis progress. You know, people want to try to make it seem like he didn't duck Regis progress, but anybody that followed the story, we know he ducked Regis progress. But talking about Crawford, what's so funny is. Mikey Garcia always got something, about, something to say about, you know, Crawford. But, you know, pussy nigga, do it. Pull up. Fight him. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. These dudes talk all this shit. You know what I'm saying? But ain't going to bust a, a grape in a fool fight. Look at your resume, dog. Your resume is horrible. You got dropped by Rocky Martinez. You know what I'm saying? You got Rocky Martinez, bro. You didn't win a round versus Earl Spence. You shouldn't even be able to eat at the table shrimp and steak and ribs. You know, at the barbecue, you at the, the Bings and Frank's, you know, little kid table. That's what be killing me. Mikey be sitting here talking like he's some type of last OG, but he, he, he ain't done nothing in his career. Like, this dude legitimately ducked Robert Easter Jr., bro, to go move up and fight Lippius. And then when Robert Fortuna exposed Robert Easter Jr., then he come back down to fight. Like, I, dude, I don't even want to get this started on this dude, man. But he talking about, well, he hasn't really fought nobody. Well, who Jose Ramirez fought? Please tell me. Who, I mean, he's talking about, you know, Crawford hasn't really fought. No, who the hell was that Ramirez fight? Amir Ma, I mean, t tell me a better mama joke. Antonio Orzarco, get out of here. Uh, Zapata, you lost. He lost. Hooker, you want a cookie? Now, I don't think anybody really think Hooker's an elite fighter. He won't get past Josh Taylor, but let's say he does get past Josh Taylor. At 47, who holds that Ramirez beating? He said, I can see him being champion. Who he beating? He not beating Earl Spence. He not beating Manny Pacquiao. He might not even beat Ugas. You know what I'm saying? He may not even beat Ugas. If he get a world championship, who he beating? He not beating Sean Porter. He not beating Danny Garcia, probably. Definitely not. You know, who else he beating? Who? He ain't going to beat Kavalaskis. And that Jeff Warren that fought Pacquiao that fought Crawford, he not beating him. So kill it. You could be as biased as you could be as biased as you want to be. You know what I'm saying? Talk about Mikey Garcia. You talking about, well, he ain't fought this dog that. But who has you fought? Like, dude, you legitimately was losing to Jesse Vargas until you started landing some bombs. Like, this is the problem, dude, with, with dudes, with dudes in boxing today. You can't give your opinion on nothing, nobody else. Especially niggas in your division where you got swept by Earl Spitz. You did all that talking and you got swept. And Jose Ramirez, he can't, oh, I want to fight Crawford. Man, pussy nigga, you were scared to fight Regis. So how we talking about Crawford and Taylor and you talk about Regis? Like I said before, man, some of the times I can't blame the brothers for being biased because some of these Mexicans, all these Mexican casual fans, they don't speak for the real Mexican hardcore fans. Some of these dudes out here with these fake channels and uh, some of these dudes out here, man, they, not, they don't speak for the real Mexican fans. I know the real Mexican boxing fans, and I've been knowing them a lot of them for over, you know, over 10 years now. And real back Mexican boxing fans don't even like Canelo Alvarez. Let, let's get it together. They don't even like Canelo Alvarez. And they don't even like Mikey Garcia. Not like that. So at the end of the day, man, do it, dog. Do it. Be, Jose, be Josh Taylor, move up, and get your ass taxed. And Mikey Garcia, you can get your ass whooped right now by Terrence Crawford. But you're going to ask for $20 million to fight. Like I said before, man. Like, no boxer should be talking about no other boxer in their division. Real talk. That ain't going to fight him. You know, let, let Jose Ramirez do the talking about Terrence Crawford. Let him talk about, about somebody that ain't in his division right now. Real talk. Because you can't talk about nobody in your division and you ain't going to pull the trigger. That's like pulling the iron and you ain't going to pull the trigger. You pull the iron, you better let that thing bark straight up and down. You better let it spit. And Mikey Garcia, he ain't letting shit spit at all. He waiting around for a Pacquiao fight for, for a payday, and that's it. You trying, oh, you ain't fought this guy. Hey, if he ain't fought nobody, po, get in line and fight Crawford. I'm tired of these dudes just talking, 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 talking. Won't do shit. Well, yeah, this, you know, Crawford ain't did this, and, you know, uh, you know, I see I can beat Errol Spence. I can exploit this. I ain't exploit the goddamn thing. You went out there on your first pay-per-view and lost 12 to nothing. Why are you even talking?
Why do you even got an opinion? Why should they even sanction Mikey Garcia fighting at 47 ever again? Why would you even want to see Mikey Garcia? Why would you even want to think what Mikey Garcia... Why would you even want to know what Mikey Garcia think anything of boxing at this point? Seriously, why would you want to know anything he think? He went out there and lied to the public. I can expose Spence. He didn't expose one thing. One thing about Spence. He went out there and lost every round and took everybody's money. And most importantly... Took every wasted everybody time, and on top of that, you didn't get no value in that car. That whole car was shitty from the window to the wall. So at the end of the day, man, stop talk, talk about it, be about it. What what can he tell Fred? Don't talk about it, be about it. Let's keep it one hundred. This dude ain't man. Come on, man, stop talking to me about Robert, about about Mikey and Jose Ramirez. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. I'm out.